later, Spirazzi. Hmm. So yes, I hope I hope to see more turn-based combat in the future with stuff like that. There are there are still series that hold true to that out there, and uh, good on them. Hmm. Oh, there is there is another very interesting thing I uh, I saw. I believe it was for then dragon cancer can cancer dragon something like that I, I don't know the exact title of it because uh, this this was the first I had read about but apparently the developers of this uh, of this indie game have a uh, have seen some issue with like let's plays and stuff because because of because of it so what what the basic story is that uh, this indie game apparently has like some big nice story or whatever that people really like and it's gotten a lot of hits on YouTube and a lot of let's plays have been like very successful with it and a lot of people have sing sung the praises of it or whatever or what have you and so the developers of the game are like oh this is great this is great for us um, apparently people really like this look it's got it's getting like millions of views on YouTube and look at this let's play and that let's play and this this and that, etc. But then, there's the problem of people are not buying the game, and sales on Steam, are, on Steam for the game are pretty darn low. It's, it's something like, over YouTube, it's got like 10 million views or something over the course of Let's Plays, and then only like 14,000 sales on, on uh, Steam. So, the guy is... Like, the guys that developed it are not terribly happy with let's plays right now because of it and this uh this brings up like some of the legitimate concerns that developers can have about let's plays and that's why it's kind of this nebulous area where uh developers have come to an agreement that yeah let's plays are fine but there's also the the dark part of it where it's not necessarily fine and uh th this is one of those examples where it has it has a an issue like this is I, I think I think don't don't quote me on this as being 100% accurate but I think the the big thing about the game is like it's a it's a single playthrough wonder where you play through it you play through it fully one time and then you get like the whole experience of, of it and it's done and that's fine it's perfectly fine to have games like that that don't have that don't have a huge replay value but have a very very good single play value um and if that's the case then there comes the problem of hey a lot of people like will watch a single let's play and then they'll be satisfied with everything cuz hey they saw the game they don't need to get it for themselves they already saw it in this let's play so why spend the money and that comes up to the point, well, you should spend the money because it supports the guys that made the thing you liked. <laughs> and I know you want to, like, like, a lot of people show a lot of support to, like, Twitch streamers and uh, bigger Let's Players and stuff like that, where they're like, oh yeah, we'll donate money to you, and uh, as a, a thanks for the entertainment, we'll donate money to you, this and that and that. When it's like, you know... That's that's all fine and good. I, I perfectly agree with that. Give, give money to the people that, that you like. But if they do a Let's Play or any sort of playthrough like that on their on their Twitch channel stream or their, their YouTube Let's Play channel, whatever it is. But if they do something like that and you really like the game, like, buy the game and support the developers of said game. Otherwise, the developers really, really suffer. This is this is actually kind of in a, like a, a parallel to something that happened many years ago. So, I don't know if anyone's heard of the game Tribes. It, it kind of got a reboot a few years ago in a way, but didn't do super well. But Tribes was a game. Tribes was a game that was. It was basically lauded as 
popular enough to be the Halo killer. And it came, it came out ar around that time where Halo was the big, strong, uh, look how amazing our shooting game is. And look at all, look at all the stuff we can do and this and that. Um, but then, Tribes, when Tribes came out, Tribes was uh, very much multiplayer focused and uh, arena focused and stuff like that. Single player was kind of meh, but its multiplayer was really, really good. And it it touted some unique stuff like um, the use of jetpacks in order to cross terrain, the use of mechs and stuff like giant mechs and stuff like that, um, as battle armor and suits and whatnot. Okay then. Um, and and a lot of other stuff like that, unique weaponry, just a lot a lot of stuff that worked out really well for them and was very popular. Um, the issue was that Tribes, while it was popular and it had a lot of servers, and a lot of servers were pretty much filled up all the time, and uh, like the, the numbers that they had on their servers, basically, the numbers they had on their servers were extremely good extremely good they they had they clearly had full servers across uh, many areas were doing extremely well the problem was that the game itself was highly piratable and it was pirated by a lot of people this is almost the exact same situation where like they had sales figures of like 10 to 20,000 and then play figures in the millions on servers and stuff. So tons of people were playing tribes, but the company was starting to lose money and go bankrupt because <laughs> because of the fact that so many people pirated it. Now this is very isolated incidents. Usually this doesn't happen to this scale for uh for this kind of thing. Um, but th this is kind of the thing that can happen when it comes to, uh, situations like this. Where if, if people aren't careful enough, if people aren't paying enough attention or people don't care enough for this or that, developers can be screwed out of lots and lots and lots of money when it comes to the, the cases of pirating and the cases of uh, Let's Plays. Now, again, this is usually relatively is isolated incidents. This isn't really a thing that happens all the time. If this was a thing that happened all the time, I'm pretty sure Let's Playing would not be a thing. Because all the game companies would throw all of their weight around and... It, it doesn't matter how popular PewDiePie and Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, or Achievement Hunter, whoever, it doesn't matter how popular they are, if the entirety of the gaming industry says, nah, man, Let's Plays aren't cool, fuck you, it's, it, it's gonna stop. <laughs> um, and, and the reason is that game production game creation, sa the sales of games and everything like that. This is a multi-billion dollar industry, like, every year billions are spent and made in the, uh, in the, the gaming industry. And for anyone that, that doesn't think that that's true, you're wrong. <laughs> you're really, really, really wrong. Gaming is very huge. It, it would be like suddenly... It would be like if you started pirating Apple iPhones. Apple would do a lot in its power to stop that kind of thing if their sales were, like, suddenly lowered enough. And that's kind of the same situation here, where if things do go bad enough, then we might see Let's Plays die off because of game companies, but 
So far that hasn't really happened, and this is relatively isolated incidents where, you know, it's uh, unfortunate for the people involved, but not necessarily an example of the norm. So I thought that was relatively interesting information of a... Uh, of just a an, an indie developer that is that isn't doing well despite their game doing very well and uh, bas basically the parallel to that was tribes which was you know at the time uh, the company that developed it was pretty small it was basically a similar situation it wasn't necessarily indie but it was way smaller than industry standard But just just examples of uh, of of how harm can come of this for anyone that's never that's any, that's ever thought. Nah, it's not possible for let's plays or uh, or even piracy to to really affect them that much. I mean, they're big strong companies, but uh, not everyone's a big strong company. Not everyone. Again, I'm I'm not. I'm not, like, instantly condemning Let's Plays or even piracy or whatever, or what have you. I mean, it, it, do what you gotta do sometimes. Sometimes you're poor, sometimes you, you need to get your entertainment here and there. Thor W does not condone piracy in public. I mean, publicly he doesn't, but privately, you know... You do what you gotta do. But at the same time, uh, if you happen to have the means to buy the, the game, then, you know, buy the game. Support the developers. I hardly have the means to, to buy myself food, and I still try to support developers where I can. That's, uh... It's the nature of the business. Like for example, I don't I don't spend a ton of money on DFO, but I've spent enough to pay for pay for like a purchase of a of a game with it. I, I've spent a little bit of money on it, yeah. And and DFO is in a very good spot, so it doesn't necessarily need it, but it does support the development of the global server and make sure that Neopol's like. Hey, you know, we're ma at least making a profit off this, or at, at the very least, we're breaking even, so this, this isn't really hurting anything, and it has the potential to make a profit. Stuff like that. That's, uh, where, whereas if, like, say, every, if, if everyone that played DFO was just a pure free player, let's say everyone was just a free player, and then... Well, first of all, we'd have all, almost, like, no avatars available for people, but, uh, you, you would see, like, uh, the, the global server would have already been taken down, because <laughs> they would have lost a full year of development on the dedication to this and seen no return, so. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta give at least a little bit of support to the people that, that give entertainment, whether it be the the direct support of the entertainers themselves, or the support of the developers that create the entertainment that they use. Hey, love lady. Nice. Nice. That's nice right there. Nice. Okay, so chain reaction looks freaking sick. So you could use this chain to, like, drag yourself to and from people and drag them to you and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, it seems like it would be way, way, way more useful in PvP, but it's not allowed. And the unfortunate part with it is that, you know, it's single target like this, and I don't know how those, uh, how those moves affect, like, multiple targets, but the ending animation is awesome! That's so cool. It's also 300 SP, so... I think I'll take... I think I'll take the ripping their heart out and smashing it in my hand animation instead. 
Sweet. All right, those are maxed. Because uh, so far, ripping people's hearts out and smash, squeezing them until they smash in my hand has worked just fine. It's worked perfectly well. So there's no real reason to... No real reason to up the ante or anything like that. So, guys, we're already in Power Station. I, I say already, but by the time this is out, I've been... Like, by the time this is out, you know, the Shadow Dancer event has ended, stuff like that. And everyone's everyone's moved on to the next big event for DFO. Probably. And then I'll, my Let's Play will be lost and forgotten. But hey, we've already made it to the power station. How, how very nice... Sweet. I'm proud of us, guys. I'm proud of us. We've uh, we've made very good progress on this character. Yet, a yet another character that we can say, yeah, we did it. We took that character on launch. Took it all the way. We could go all the way! This is interesting. I'm getting backstabs on some of these enemies, but they're just disappearing when they die instead of also procking the, uh... Yeah, see? See, look at that. It didn't proc my AoE. Whoops. <laughs> I've got a bone shield. A level one bone shield. You'll never be able to fight me now. Let's use our experience potion now, <laughs> while they're dying in the animation. Sweet. Yes, our other times five experience potion that we got from our zombie farm. Dude, the zombie farm event, thank you for the massive experience potions. It's very, very nice. It is very nice. I wonder, are we Anton ready on this character? No, not not even fucking close. <laughs> not even semi-close. We can possibly do normal Anton. We ain't doing no raids, that's for sure. We ain't killing no raid boss, not on this character. No siree. On my summoner, maybe. Maybe. Not even on my, uh, not even on my monk. I still don't have a, a weapon good enough for my monk. I've done so much farming. That's so much farming, man. Still no epic. I'll have a liberation totem in like another month and a half or so. But uh, until then, unless I, unless I spend ungodly amounts of money, uh, in-game currency, in-game money, ungodly amounts of in-game money. Which I don't necessarily have the, uh, the desire to do so. Ow. I'm still on fire. Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted. Oh. Well, thanks, Navar. Thank you for taking care of this room. Thank you so much for taking care of the room. Sliced and dice. Adventurers go stronger by the day. Yeah, it's it's interesting. We're like Saiyans. We get our ass kicked and we come back stronger than ever before. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Stronger than ever before. Ask Navar about Vaughn. Hey, hey, Navar. How's Vaughn? Is he, is he a jerk? 
Uh, you know, he's kind of a jerk. He's a little bit of a jerk. Just just a little bit. Just a tiny bit of a jerk. Could be less of a jerk if he, uh... If he wanted, but no. Nah, no, nah, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. He's, he's a douche. <laughs> you're not wrong. Does I level up support? Yeah, thought so. I'll do that sometime in the future. I wonder how long until they uh they nerf summoner. Summoner's base strength. So far I haven't I haven't thought that Shadow Dancer was especially strong, but when I when I played Summoner, when I played through Summoner on my first time going through the game with Summoner, oh my god. I was like, oh yeah, this this class is god. This class is unfair in every possible way. Like, it's safe, and it does insane DPS? What? Why? Why is Summoner safe and do insane DPS? Are you not supposed to sacrifice one for the other? Isn't, isn't that the point? Apparently not. Nope. Nope, apparently not. On Summoner, if you happen to, uh... Oh, he didn't turn around. Well, goodbye, dude. I'll just take myself right behind you. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Oh ho ho. Oh ho 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 ho. Okay, I suppose I'm done with the laughing now. Or am I? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. Wilson. Wilson!